if the young people of my country who are fortunate, who get education, like you, like I, relate to the rest of the people in the country, then there is no problem for me. If they try to relate only to the fortunate ones in other countries, then there is a problem. There is a problem for the youth as well as for the whole country. And that is what is happening now. The young people are in such great pressure, one, to acquire culture, according to what traditionally we believe is culture, that they should be Hindus or good Muslims or good Christians, according to the old, good old tradition. And at the same time, we want them to be equal to their counterpart in the more fortunate world. I like the American boys or the European boys. The two are very contradictory. If only they had to relate themselves to the poor, to the downtrodden, to the unfortunate in their own country, they would work out something, you know, which we did in my youth. I had to relate myself to the rest of the country. Today, in, if, if you call there is an American culture, the American culture is being formed by those who are unfortunate in America. They are the people, you know, jazz came from them. Today, great poetry comes from people, the Mexican people, the black people, the Spanish people, speaking people. With whom do our young people in India relate? If today, a young boy or a girl goes to a good convent school and tries to forget his own or her own language and acquires English, particularly with an American accent, I don't think that the child at the age of 18 or 20, at least after finishing the BA or BSc or even the plus two, will not become a physicist, will not become a musician, will not become a a filmmaker like you going to a, a school will immediately join a call, call center and earn 20,000 rupees a month at the age of 22 or 23 and as a mobile and then can indulge in that kind of uh, feeling, you know, that he or she is like anyone else, fortunate like them in highly advanced countries. Uh, what happens to the others, you know, who come from lower castes and classes? Because of the great difference, you know, be between them and their counterpart, they may slowly get attracted to violence, to hooliganism, and they become uh, victims of populist appeal. There are quite a few politicians, you know, making this kind of populist appeal that they will give them a heaven if they come to power. And so they are all, they also lose their paths. It's not only the fortunate ones, but the unfortunate ones also are lost. I want many young people to become public intellectuals, not professional. I mean, I'm not against somebody becoming a socialist or this, but one should not think that one's career is ended there. Public intellectual means to be able to relate to the public issues of everyday life. The point I am trying to make is there will always be like this, but there should be some people who swim against the current. So I am looking for young people who swim against the current. Swimming with the current is easy. You know, I take a very practical view of that. I have been writing about it, you know, a lot. If only we can use English also as a parallel language. Like all our uh, older people did. Everyone could use his own language plus English. We need that because there are two kinds of languages. You know, languages which travel, languages which don't travel. Canada is not a language which travels. Hindi travels a little within the country. Um, Tulu doesn't travel at all, <laughs> okay? But we should not give up the languages we do not travel because we relate to our immediate environment through those languages, to a larger environment through another language. Now, we have a boy or a girl growing, I would like first the child to be related to one's own environment, 
because there is a lot to learn. And then to other environments. So you need, at one time you needed Sanskrit, and later on you needed Persian. Today you need English. And if I go to China, I may need Chinese. So I'm not against languages, but languages should be acquired without giving up a language of your immediate environment. Uh, imagine you go and settle down in Madhya Pradesh. Then your immediate environment becomes Madhya Pradesh. So you need to know Hindi. If you don't know Hindi, if you are a journalist there, you can't really absorb anything from that area. But if you need to relate to your relations, your cousins, your uncles, and you, you know, because you have a family also. You need Canada. So you will keep Canada as a home language. You will learn Hindi to relate to others. You will certainly learn English because you want to get to know the latest developments. And that's the higher, healthier kind of development. Love of your own village is <laughs> patriot. For me, patriotism begins with my love of Tirthali, my love of the Shimoga district, my love of Mysore, and my love of wherever I have lived, you know. And if something happens uh, in England, uh, because I lived there four years in my life, I would feel very sad. So patriotism has no limits. It starts with your own village and your own immediate environment, your childhood environment, and it uh, spreads. You know, there is it's a wonderful thing to be. You know, quite a few Pakistanis are very patriotic uh, so far as Bangalore is concerned, because they spent their youth in Bangalore. And there are quite a few Indians who love Lahore. Huh? That is real <laughs> love, you know. Dhaka. You may live in the India, but you may love Dhaka, you may love Lahore. And people in Pakistan may love uh, a place like Lucknow. Huh? I mean, this is very important for me, when you talk of patriotism. And if you are patriotic like that, then you will prevent a war. <laughs> because you don't want your own <laughs> place to be bombed. Hmm? Losing my sensitivity to my environment. It can happen in utter selfishness, in my own uh, desire for careerism, because all those desires are there in me, you know, like everybody else. Uh, it was there all my life, you know, not that I didn't struggle with my desires. But I could have lost it, because temptations are many uh, for an immediate kind of success, you know, immediate. I mean, once you are in it, then you are lost because it begins to take you. For instance, you know, if I didn't choose to be a teacher, uh, because then, you know, it was possible with my achievement, etc., to become something bigger, probably my life would have been different. And that would have been attractive also at that time, you know, to do. But one fights it and one chooses and... Uh, Particularly when you are young, you know, you, are, you have many problems of this kind.